Hello everyone, and welcome back to Idiotically Tutorialising Caveman to Cosmos. In the last episode, we talked about the bug options within the game, um, which actually took a lot shorter time than I was expecting. This episode, we will be talking about the thing, the, um, the traits of my leader, aggressive, uh, isolationist and organized. As we can, ho you can hover over your um, thing here, your flag, and it will showcase a lot of different, like aggressive, organized, isolationists. It will showcase all three. If you keep hovering, if you press shift and hover over it, it will show them all, eventually. So I'll showcase aggressive first. So aggressive. Gives me plus ten percent military unit production. I get free combat uh, promotion on all melee, all gunpowder, all high tech, and all assault mechs, which is plus ten percent strength. We also get free aggressive uh, promotion on all melee, all gunpowder, all high tech, and all assault mechs. That is also another ten percent. So that's actually to start with. As soon as you build a melee unit. Most of those will, are melee units. Um, they gain 20% strength instantly. You also get minus one diplomacy penalty for every single uh, leader except for leaders with aggressive. You get double production speed of barracks, garrisons, siege weapons workshop, cannon forge, aerospace complex and bio enhancement center. 10% production bonus to mercenary camps and so on and so forth. Double production speed to Fletcher's Hut, 25% production speed to Warrior's Hut, double production speed to Gladiatorial School, and plus 5 prime per turn. That's what that icon was, by the way. Uh, so basically, you're meant to be fighting a lot as an aggressive unit player, and as an aggressive leader. Aggressive leaders want to fight. They want to fight, 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 and that's what all they want to do. They just want to be at war or fight stuff the whole entire time. Next we have organized. Organized is minus one culture per city, minus one culture from artists, minus one culture from nobles, plus 20% gold, minus 10% culture and capital, minus 25% uh, great person birth rate, minus 20% civic upkeep, minus 20% maintenance cost from number of cities. Workers build improvements faster, Double production speed of factory, manufacturing plant, courthouse. So as an organized civ, you want to be expanding quite a bit. And you can change your civics quite a bit as well because it's cheaper. Uh, you're not going to be making much culture as an organized player. Lastly, we have the isolationists. We gain plus 15% hammers in all cities. Our trade routes are much worse. We actually have one less trade route in every city base. We have plus 20% maintenance cost from distance to city, but organized means that number of cities is cheaper. And we have minus 15% espionage. As I said, they don't like to trade with others. So these people like to expand, like to kill, and not trade with anyone else. Makes sense. So, the first thing you want to do in every single game you play is look for a very for look for an area to colonize or build your first city. The best places to build are the ones with the most hammers. I would also suggest at least searching around the area for one, two, or maybe three turns. You want Hammers. Hammers are your most important resource in this entire mod. Hammers, hammers, and more hammers. At the start of the game, you do not have a clue where any of the resources are. So you're not actually expand you're not settling your city knowing where any resources are. You're settling your city dependent on where the hammers are. 
Another couple of things that I would suggest to look for are caves and rivers. Caves are an incredibly strong start. They give you a very good wonder at the start called the Classius River Caves, as long as you have a river nearby. They also have a very good tech that gives them uh, cave dwellings, which gives you uh, health, hammers, and money. Very, very strong to start with. And if you can get a cave within your borders, go for it. Um, yeah. Another couple of things that are very useful to note are these ma uh, forced march and quick march upgrades. For the for losing strength, you gain speed. So, force march, you gain plus one movement speed, and you are minus 30% strength, minus 50% heal. Here, you have plus one movement range. So, the same range. Terrain movement cost is less, so something like forests are easier to go through. Um, and you have no invisibility. I enjoy going with this on my first unit so I can look around a lot. We'll go on top of this hill. Do I see anything? I'm not liking this start at all. This looks like a really good tile to start with. Hmm. Well, not actually a really good tile, but it's enough. I don't see any caves at all. There's no caves. I don't think there's caves there. Doesn't look like it. And there's no caves there. I can see that tile pretty well. Um, I don't think there's any caves here. So nowhere nearby there's caves. There are rivers. If you can't get caves, you want to settle next to a river. Um, there's mountains. Mountains aren't bad to have. And there is bamboo. Thank fucking Christ. So bamboo is very strong and grass is very strong. If you can get both within, within your capital, definitely settle that. But, uh, so the biggest things are, first thing you want before everything else is caves. Then you want rivers. And then you want bamboo. Then you want um, grass. And if you can't have any of them, hammers. Hammers, 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 hammers. Who gives a fuck about growth? You'll hammer out growth, pretty much. So let's uh, go to the next turn. This map, man. Yeah, we're going to be settling this as Babylon. We got 33 gold from the, uh, from this. Again, first building to always build is your alpha male, unless you have a wonder, but alpha male is very, very strong. Something in this mod that is not in the base game is these build up uh, promotions instead of fortify. So when you build up, it's basically like fortifying, but it's a specific type of build up. It actually allows you to fortify, restful recovery, so it actually allows you to heal faster than you normally would, or checkpoints. Checkpoints allow you to catch um, thieves and stuff even better. And I would always suggest going for checkpoint over fortifications to start with. Fortifications is really good when you think you're going to be at war. Checkpoints are really good if you think you're going to be getting a lot of spies or thieves or brutes or whatever within your territory. The first text I would advise going for is gathering. Try and get nomadic lifestyle into gathering and then you want to go towards tracking as early as possible. Tracking gives you trackers. Uh, once you get trackers up and running, you can start subduing animals. And as I, I've pretty much, I think I've already mentioned, subduing is very, 
very important. So what I would normally do is go for a nomadic lifestyle, gathering, then I'd do language, deception, cooperation, oral tradition, scavenging, persistent hunting, and tracking. You can alter this. If you had cave, cave dwelling, I would do nomadic lifestyle, into cave dwelling, into gathering, language, deception, cooperation, oral tradition, and then tracking. That's what I would normally do if I had caves nearby. Because caves, as I showed you here, give you plus one health, plus two hammers, and plus one uh, commer, uh, gold per turn. You don't have to build this. This is automatically built. And that's why it's insanely strong. You also get, um, yeah. You would also get classiest rubber caves to start with. So let's continue. We're not going to be looking around this area too much to start with. Depending on the price of certain units, I might. There is no point in me going that way, and there is no point in me going down this way. So let's go up to here, get that goodie hut. There is nothing over here. We are on a really shitty island that I see. Next thing you probably want to build is this alpha male. Alpha female. May as well. You want to try and get this crime and disease sorted as quickly as possible. The alpha female isn't going to sort it, but it's going to help you to start with. Wow. I got a map. I got a map. I got a map. It's so helpful. Oh, a map. Okay. <sighs> Alpha female, what am I going to build? So I've got nomadic lifestyle next, a turn afterwards. So after I build the alpha female, I think I might actually build wealth. No, not wealth right now, god damn it. After the alpha female. And I'll probably go up this way. So next thing I said, uh, you want to go to gathering. So how long have we got? Six turns for gathering, three turns. I'm going to build two wanderers, I think. And then we will see gathering stuff. Uh, I want wanderers just to explore faster, to be honest. Uh, I'll probably regret building the Wanderers, actually, because I have a feeling this might be the... Ex oh, there's caves. God damn it. See, there you go. If you only explored a little bit more, I would have found caves. Uh, Wanderer, yeah. I want you to get that so you can move faster. <gasps> yeah. And I have a river. Like, so, if I went here, this would have been the perfect location right here. It's defensible, it's got caves, and it's got a river, and it's next to the sea. That would have taken me one, two more turns. If only I knew about it. But, I didn't, and I didn't go for it, so, it's, it's a thing, it happened. Yay, more tech. Yeah, 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 I know. We already went through all these options. Next thing I would go for is language. Because you... So, if you click on... As I said, if you click on tracking, it shows you what text you need before tracking. You need to get language, you need to get deception, you need to get cooperation, you need to get scavenging, and you need to get persistence. I would actually suggest going all the way to oral traditions. Because oral traditions does give you an extra happiness per se, which is meaning two two per se, but it also gives you um, the ability to build research and it enables oral tradition. That's plus ten percent science right there. Uh, it's but it's good to have both of them before you even have tracking, so it's fine. Okay, we will we will we will have no resource to start with. Which is 
unfortunate. Even here, it would have had no resources. Definite, <clears throat> definitely unfortunate. But we can survive without them. It's actually a really good area. You don't need the resources, as I said. You don't start with knowing the re where the resources are. So the game doesn't punish you a lot. A lot. It does punish you a little bit, but it doesn't punish you a lot. Um, uh, you can sleep. Um, so after the Wanderer is finished, I will want to build the Stick Gatherer. And possibly the LL Mount, Mount, Mount Verdi. Because it's probably going to take us a while. I want to go this way. Cool. Yay, research. Okay. As you can tell, our wonders are really fast. Um, and they're good for getting goody huts. Like, that's their thing. They're scouts. They're very early scouts. It's actually what they are. They're class as early scouts. They're just not very good. Okay, so I've, I've looked at everything up that way. That's fine. Oh, goody hut. Nice. Uh, yeah, bogs are very bad for everyone. <laughs> very bad bears. Yes. This gives you native language. Plus five science per, and plus five percent. Plus five percent science and plus five percent uh, culture in all cities. It's also a free culture flip, so or a free civic flip. Oh, I found someone. That is, I don't know who that could be. Red can be quite a lot of different people actually. Um, yeah, I don't know who red will be. Ooh. Yeah, it gave me experience. That's fine. There's nothing this way, god damn it. Uh, so you'll probably be leveled up, good good. Not that it helps at all. But yeah, so you get the plus five science and plus five culture for nothing. There's no anarchy or anything for that first civic swap. Oops. And that uh, happens for quite a while, actually. Okay. How is our... Our crime is going down and our disease is going down, which is good. Our education is also going down. Education is another thing. These three, disease, crime and education, are your main three uh, properties you want to deal with. But as, for, as always, you want to get hammers first. Hammers, hammers, and more hammers. I'm going to start building the LL Mount Birdie, at least for now, and see how things go. If I don't get it, I don't get it. You, I'm actually wanting you to get Woodsman, please. You'll be in the woods quite a lot, and Hillsman as well. Okay. Uh, oh, hit me. Hey, what is this? Oh, more tech. Nice. So the map isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I actually thought we were on a tiny, tiny, tiny island by ourselves, which can be rough. Very, very rough. Another uh, goody hut. Good, good. I need all the goody huts I can get. And I might actually get you off that so I can start hunting with you at least. Mm -hmm. Not that it will do anything at all. Uh, but yeah, let's go this way. 
collect that please more gold good good uh, okay we can still go down that way Exiles are a really good early unit. Um, very, very good for killing pretty much anything early in the game. They are a strength 2 when most of the units you can build at that point in time are strength 1. See, like, I can't kill anything with this. I'm actually going to go head home with the stone thrower. If it dies, it dies. Um, it's pretty useful to build the exile because it does have the minus 2 um crime per turn but right now i'm not too bothered by it okay so we're still finding land which is good it would be quite bad if i couldn't find any land here we are here's damage per turn stuff so the all of this will this tile will give me 15% uh, damage the, the turn if I end up my turn on that which is rough to say the least so you don't want to be in this land too much there you go um, and it makes it quite hard to actually uh, re go around that kind of land and there'll be a lot of goodie huts sometimes in Tega or desert land because people can't actually go on the, on that land until later on in the game and you'll be just like fuck it I'm gonna suicide a unit because I want to know what's down here I'm probably gonna go on to this tile and heal or not I'm gonna run away that brute would kill me easily I want to heal up. How long would that take? 15 turns, holy crap. I want you to go here. Here's another thing. So if you automate build up selection, automate build up selections for healing, that's basically, what it's gonna do is restful recovery here. But it chooses the best option to heal. Restful recovery is the fastest healing option. Anyway, let's go home with you. Normally I would send my uh, stone thrower out to explore, but we did get two wanderers and we sort of know what's down this way. There is a brute over here and I don't want to deal with that person because brutes are evil. And here we are. So we have the... We have a stone thrower here. We want to build fortifications or build up fortifications. It can go up to five times and it's like fortifying five times and it is insanely strong. Uh, I think it ends up becoming like plus 50% fortification. So it's, yeah, pretty useful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're just ending turns until we get oral tradition or until my, um, Wanderers heal, but they'll take a while to heal to start with anyway. Ella Mount Verde will give me food, hammers, and some gold. All of which are needed. Now, what I want to do is get Oral Tradition next turn, so I'm going to build wealth for a turn. Yay! You can only build one um, of these. Well, no, of course you can only build one of these. I mean, you can only build one LL, so it's called a legendary something. You can only build one in the entire game. There's no one for the whole entire map, but only one per person. Now we're going to go scavenging into tracking. Now that we have oral tradition. Here, we tell the story. Why the people came here. What they did when they got here. Going back to the Native Americans. Telling 
So now I can build things. Uh, so all tradition gave me plus five percent um, science, not all cities, but also gave me plus three education in all cities. And now I can start building things like the knowledge inheritance, the storyteller's hut, and the creation myth. Storyteller's hut needs a storage pit, so I need to build a storage pit. That is an insanely important building. But first, before that, I'm going to build the Knowledge Inheritance, because I want those beakers. Though, that science, yeah. Was it 1.1 or something like that? Because I've got plus 10%. Due to six. Now, I want to build the storage pit to get the next science building. Okay. I actually want you to head down this way quickly. Okay, there's nothing there. And I want you, because these are going to hurt, to quickly head there. Oh, okay, dwelling. Free. Um... I don't really want to go that way. They're both going to lose some health, which is rough. Yay. Did we get any of that? <gasps> I settled on poultry. God damn it. That's unfortunate. Oh well. So we did, we did get better tiles now. We have poultry, which is just shit tons of food. But as I said, at the start of the game, you don't want food. You actually want hammers. Although that much food can be very... Mm, is there any difference? So that's five turns, six turns. There is a little bit of a difference. Hmm. I guess it could be fine because we are growing this way and we're going to be building like the reason I don't like having a resource underneath a city is because this resource is five food one hammer one commerce the city is three food two hammers one commerce so it's actually losing two food and gaining a hammer it'd be much better if it was uh, separate units and I'm pretty sure you give me what extra food so I guess that is fine more food at least I'll grow which could be worse uh, I'll go there uh, the maw has a chance of attacking me shit maws are not great she knows Yeah. Fortunately, Wanderers are actually half decent to run away. Ah, uh, why did you heal? Another. <sighs> this is one of the really. So, if you're lucky enough to get a Stone Spearman in turn 40 ish, it is going to be your main attack unit. It is insanely strong. Wait, my... Oh my god, my Wanderer does an amazing job. Holy shit. It is silly strong how good this unit is. And I'm really happy I got it. Now we can start actually hunting animals. The earlier you can hunt animals, the better. Can we actually build... No, we can't. Okay. Our education is going up. Our crime is going up. I guess I can fix that by building the exile practices. I do want to fix the... Um, what is it? The crime rate as early as I can. I'm 
probably not going to head down that way with you. So I'm going to head up this way with you. I do want to start killing things with this guy. Chaser and the Master Hunter. Make sure your prey is up before you do. So Hunter allows... I believe Hunter gives you plus 50% chance to subdue. Uh, Hunter 2 is actually... It hurts against any non... Um, non-animal but yeah here it is so we get plus 25% chance to against animals plus 10% chance to subdue it minus 10% food uh, or whatever to the hunting kill which is fine because you kind of want to subdue more than hunt, uh, get the hunting benefits and one extra strike chance uh, so you actually want to build the hunting instructions before you start building anything else. Before you start building hunters, which is fine. Pull the bird to kill. Kill the bird. Yeah, don't kill the bird. This is plus twenty percent strength. Ooh, that's a unit. I do actually want to kill things with you. I don't want to hang around with you. Did you attack into me? Please attack. Yay, good, good. Let's heal. Like, to be honest, what would have been better is if I stopped their uh, force march healed them and then put it back onto Force March. It's much easier. Yay, we killed two things. Which means your experience is going up. And I just wanted to heal up just now. Uh, so I'm gonna do this. Same with you. I might even just turn it off because we're at the point where we're fine. Yeah, you're okay. Uh, so you're healed. Okay, I'll go up this way. That should be 611, I think. Okay. So we got what we want. The next thing you want to look uh, towards after tracking is hard hammer percussions because hard hammer starts revealing clay stone copper and pretty much every other essential resource right now you have all the animal resources all the food resources and then once you get the hard hammer percussion you get all the um resources i don't actually know what to call this hmm. Once you've got all these, res uh, I guess, hammer resources, uh, and then, then after hard hammer, it's actually up to personal preference afterwards. Some people go for uh, cultural identity to get the early science leads. Some people go for chopping, piercing, scraping, and stuff like that to get the early science lead, sort of, but more of a, along the lines of an early attack leads. It's really up to you what you do after this, but I have a specific way of doing things usually. Oh, we got a scout. Nice. Now, scouts are really good. Scouts have plus. Twing plus one hundred percent against um, animals. Pretty, I thought it was plus. Yeah, plus one hundred percent versus wild animals. So I'm okay with putting you next to that wild animal there. There we go.
Okay, Moa has withdrawn. Now we're looking for all of my hunters, or trackers, actually. I would suggest building all five. You can build five. Build all five, as soon as you can. Don't worry about anything else, just build them. You want to start killing as early as physically possible. I want to go here. This way as well. Also here. Okay. I'll probably want to heal with the stone guy. You can heal. You can head this way. We got a bit of luck so far. And this map is, or this island is weird. There's a barbin? No, just a weird map glitch thing. Yeah, so just it's just a weird map glitch. Hey, things died. So here's what why you want to hunt: plus two hammers, plus three food. The more you hunt, the more you kill. The more you kill, the more food you get, the more hammers you get, and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's that's why it's so useful. And you want trackers to do that that job. Uh, anyway, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you, everyone, everyone, for watching. I hope this is helping you out. All help. I hope this is helping you all out. A lot. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Have fun, people, and goodbye.